Looks like the first snowstorm of 22 is gonna be on the way here. This is the day before. It's not gonna be anything too crazy, I don't suspect. Maybe four or five inches at the most. But this first snowfall of the season and of the year for us out here. So I am currently getting us prepared, getting a full rack of wood brought into the camper, getting our dishes cleaned up, uh, just tidying up, making sure that we've got water inside because the temps are going to drop down to about 10 to 12 degrees here i believe after the storm i'm going to be listening to the noaa weather report here in a little bit when i get the dishes done and see just what the latest forecasts are for but what i've noticed in the 10-day reports in the last week is that we've got several days of 10, 12, 14 degrees coming up. Therefore, we got to think ahead of the curve and try to make sure that we've got necessities such as water thawed out because it did freeze. Our water did freeze a couple nights ago, but I set it in the sunshine here on the bench off the ground and it warms up and uh, can always bring it inside and put it here by the stove and that way it can thaw out. But we've also got this, I don't know if you can see it, there it is, this thermos here with the water dispenser. That way we have two gallons of water right there and like I said, I got a pile of dishes I got to get done so that we can cook food. And the kiddos, as you can see, they've pretty much figured out what they're going to do for the storm. I don't suspect it'll be too terrible, but it'll be enough to shut us in for a couple of days, most likely. You can see our jalapeno plants are coming along. We've got several jalapenos, if you can see those in the shadows. Some big ones, decent sized jalapenos that are gonna harvest soon and put in chili. Say hi, Cliff. And it is almost quarter to eight in the morning. And as you saw, it is a gorgeous sunrise happening out my front door. Absolutely beautiful. And we have a bunch of wood in here, if you can see. I don't know if you can see it or not. There you can kind of see it. I've got quite a bit of wood stacked inside right next to the stove here so that it stays nice and toasty dry. We got a whole lot of pine cut up for kindling and a whole bunch of hardwoods in there. Staying nice and dry. I'm gonna bring up another load of wood out of the greenhouse and just continue looking around, seeing what we can do to make sure we are completely prepared for the storm. Of course, the camera doesn't quite do justice for the sunrise, but I think you get an idea of how gorgeous it is. It is quite vibrant. We get some nice ones out here. It's my favorite time of the day, personally. It has been my whole life, but as far as the colors, and the quiet out here in the mountain. You really can't beat it. 
I've finally gotten most of the way over my knee injury. So I'm able to walk around again and start getting into projects. And that's nice because I was really banged up, really hurt for about a month. It was not fun to deal with. Doing the most basic things was very difficult. And I'm just very happy to be mobile and actually of value to my family again, be able to do something. You can see we've got this little black hut right here. So we use this for the potty station now. <clears throat> Excuse me. We use it to, you know, for wind shelter, ice and snow, rain shelter from the elements. It's time to go potty. So that works quite well. The wind completely destroyed the other shelter that I kind of just ramshackle through together. <clears throat> but I did not anticipate 100 mile an hour winds coming through here as well. And our next door neighbors, they've suffered the winds as well. Uh, not only as you've seen in our videos that our, our roof was taken off several times out here off the camper, but um, they've actually had a gigantic greenhouse thrown across their property twice now by these winds out here. They have had uh, a very large, like 16 foot tall peak, 16 foot, uh, 16 foot peak with, it was a 16 foot diameter as well. And the greenhouse was picked up and thrown twice by 100 mile an hour winds out here. It was literally picked up in the air and thrown about, oh, I'd say about 100 feet across their road. And I'll tell you, you know, since we did have to cut Bracia from the team, this girl right here, I'll tell you, she is a really sweet girl. She is very smart. She's very easy to work with. She wants to listen. She wants to be a part of the game. And she wants to be a good girl. And she has really blossomed into just that. She reminds me so much in so many different ways of Susha. It's hard to believe sometimes. But I'll tell you, she is a very good girl. She's growing up very well on her way to being seven months old soon. And we're very glad she has developed into the dog that she is. Very good girl. Alrighty, my fingers are getting cold. It's probably about 33 degrees, maybe 31, something like that right now. Fingers are starting to get kind of chilly. I wanted to give you a nice little video and show you just how nice our sunrises are again because I haven't shot a sunrise video in a while. It's not every day they're this pretty, but sometimes they are even more magnificent. But I've got projects to take care of and get us ready for the storm in about uh, 27 hours. I believe it's going to start snowing out here. So everybody take care of yourselves and each other. Hope you're enjoying it. And come on back to Primitive Oasis. And if you've never been here, maybe you should come check it out sometime. All right, guys. Everybody be safe. And we'll talk at you later.